meteorologist Chris Boone. Well, a lot of beneficial rain for the state of Texas. We've been seeing some of that rain across the area here in the Concho Valley in just the past several hours as well. Still seeing some heavy rain off towards the south. Take a little bit closer to look here. We saw some of the best rain out towards the Ballinger area. In fact, we did see a flood advisory for that area again because of how much rainfall they received in such a short period of time. And then we saw a little bit of back building. We're still seeing that again, this first wave. Now we're starting to see a second wave of some round of showers possible for us here in San Angelo. The bulk of it has been just off towards the south and east. So again, southeast of Cristobal, and it's starting to move in towards the Eden area. But we do see some of those isolated showers, again, building up along Twin Buttes Reservoir, as well as in towards the San Angelo area. So we could be seeing adding on to those uh, rain totals that we've already seen. In fact, two inches for Rowena, just under two inches out at OH Ivy, miles at an inch and a half. Ballinger, closer to more uh, inch and three quarters. And then Menard, just over half an inch. So, still adding to those rain totals as we still see those showers moving across the area, but very beneficial. Certainly could use the rain. You know have we, how dry we've been for the entire month of May and for much of spring, in fact, as well. Looking off towards the north, this was our time lapse earlier, those first round of showers. Then we watch these clouds rebuild back towards the south. That's the outflow boundary that sets off the second round of some showers. Again, that stayed off towards the north as well. And so we're still watching for that outflow boundary to set off another round of some showers here in the Concho Valley and here in San Angelo as well. So again, 76 right now, our downtown temperature. Two points in the lower 60s. Those winds have calmed down. Still out of the northeast again. It has that outflow coming from the northeast with that first line of storms. They're at 10 miles per hour. So again, not nearly as breezy as it was just in the past hour. Mostly cooler in the northeastern parts where we saw the rain chances or where we've already seen some of those rain showers. Again, Coleman at 70 degrees. 71 in Brady. 75 for Eden as well as 72 in Ballinger. Slightly warmer. We did see some of those 80s and upper 70s hang on closer towards I-10, where they stayed a little bit drier this evening. So again, as we go through the overnight hours, still hanging on to the chance for some scattered showers and storms, about a 60% chance. Temperatures dropping down into the low 60s, an overnight low of 61. And then tomorrow, very similar conditions. Again, temperatures are going to be warming up a little bit more. We'll top out at 87. That's because that cold front starts to move in later in the evening hours. That's going to increase our rain chances back up to 60% chance. Again, as that front pushes through our area, it could also spark up some severe storms as well. We are in a slight category. That is a two out of five on our severe risk. I think big winds, that's going to be the biggest concern as we go through our uh, Tuesday, rather. Not so much on the hail, and that's because of how fast that line of storms is expected to move. As we go through the evening hours, we'll start to lose that daytime heating. Showers will start to fizzle out. Then we see our next round of some storms. You see a well-defined line with this. Again, that's going to be more indicative of a wind threat as it pushes off towards the southeast. Again, we could see some of those gusty winds late on Tuesday going into your early Wednesday morning. So as we get into your Thursday, though, pattern gets a lot more quiet as, again, this upper-level trough pushes off towards the east. Then we see that ridging rebuild back in towards our area. It means you get a return back to those warmer temperatures as we start heading in towards the weekend. And those warmer temperatures, well, one thing you could do to celebrate is a giant water slide. That is the gift for this week's Winning with the Weather. Go to our website, ConchoValleyHomepage.com, and go on the contest tab for your chance to win. Otherwise, temperatures are going to be warming up through the week with 100s returning for this weekend, both Saturday and Sunday at 105 and 103. Winning with the Weather is sponsored by Concho Valley ER.